Hey there Dev Squad, Furtis here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be introducing you to structure variable types and their use within programming. By the end of this video you're going to be able to create them, break them down and also use them within your Blueprint code. Now for those of you that don't know what a structure variable type is, it is essentially a variable which is going to contain more than one piece of information. What we'll be doing is breaking down a couple of these different structures so you can see exactly how they are used. An example of this would be things like a vector, a rotator, a transform, or a like. Now, these should be variables you're common with already, but the reason why they come under the structure type is because they hold more than one piece of information. There is loads and loads of other types of variables that are gonna contain loads of information, and we'll be showing you a couple of those today, showing you how to use them, and then you can transfer that over to any other type of struct that you are using. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be working with the third person character blueprint. Now, when it comes to creating a structure variable type, you are gonna be creating it just like any other. So plus, uh, go ahead and press plus variable, and give us the name test and then struct. And then in the top right hand corner in the details panel, go to your variable type. And in here, you can see we have got a little drop down for our structures. And in here, you can see a long list of structure variable types. And you can see they're quite clearly outlined in blue. This blue little icon here just means it's a structure. So you know it's gonna contain more than one piece of information. What you've also got in this list is your vectors, your transform and your rotators as well. And they're just gonna have the normal color that you would expect for that. That's just the way that Unreal does it. But any of the other types, they are all going to have a blue icon. So let's start off with a transform. Now a transform you guys should be pretty familiar with already, but you can see with this, once I compile it, in the default value here, it's now giving us more than one piece of information. It's asking for location, rotation, and scale. And if I was to drag this into the scene, and uh, sorry, into our event graph and get a reference to it, you can see it's only got one output pin. However, if you drag out from there and then break that down, it is gonna give you the different types of information that are in there. So your location, your rotation, and your scale. So hopefully you guys are starting to get a better understanding of how structures are formed and how they work. Moving on to something a little bit more compl uh, complicated, such as a hit result, for example. So if I go ahead and go into my structure list here, and then if I find hit result, which is probably gonna be something that you're gonna be using quite often. If I drag this into my scene here now, you can see it is blue. It's also a structure, but like I said, vectors, transforms, and rotators have their own color, but the rest of them are all going to be in blue. Now with this, with it being a struct, what we can do is break this hit result. And once again, what we're gonna be able to do is get access to all of the information contained within this. So we've got our time, our distance, our location, and so on and so forth. Now, what I do need to mention is that each and every one of these different types of structures are gonna contain different pieces of information. So as you dive deeper and deeper into Unreal Engine, you will start using some of these structures and you're gonna know the type of information that's gonna be contained within. Another example of a structure that we can go into is our post-processing settings. So we could turn this into a structure, bring it in here, and get a reference to it. And what we could do with this is then break it. But because there is so many settings in here, so many pieces of information, it's not gonna allow us to bring out the data the way that we could before. Instead, what it's gonna do is get us to chuck it all in here in the details panel, and we can add it as a pin so we can start feeding out that information. If we was to add every single piece of information in here as a pin, it would just be a huge, huge blueprint node. So for whatever reason, if you cannot see any output information 
within your structure blueprints, it's because you have not enabled it as a pin. So just go ahead and click this, find the data type or the piece of data you're looking for and enable that as a pin. So hopefully by now you guys are starting to figure out just how structures are used and will be able to implement them into your programming. That is everything for today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.